At EVO 2023, I had the awesome opportunity to play Tekken 8 for the very first time and here are my first hands-on impression. Take it one step at a time. Now, let me start off by saying that I've never played a Tekken game. I mean, sure, I played like Tekken 5 on the PS2 and I played a little bit of Tekken 7, sure. And you might be thinking, whoa, once if you're a fighting game channel, I know. That's why I had to play Tekken 8. So I come from more traditional 2D fighting games, you know, Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, Injustice. I played a couple 3D fighters like Soul Calibur, Mortal Kombat back in the 3D era, and a couple Tekkens, sure. So full disclosure, I don't have a ton of background with 3D fighters, but that might be good because this is totally unbiased. And to be honest, I thought I wasn't gonna enjoy it. I was like, ah, I like 3D fighters, but I'm not a big fan of them. And Tekken 8 completely changed my mind. So if you're thinking the exact same thing that I thought, we were like, ah, oh, I mean, Tekken looks cool, but I don't know if I'd really enjoy it. Oh, dude, your mind's gonna be changed with Tekken 8. Street Fighter 6 was my very first Street Fighter that I really got into. And I think I'm 99% sure that Tekken 8 is gonna be my very first Tekken that I really get into. And I think that's gonna be the same for a lot of players. First off, the game looks beautiful. It looks stunning. It looks so freaking good. It, it was just so much fun to watch. I stood in line at other booths at EVO and all I could do was stand there while in line, just watching the giant TV that had Tekken 8. I was like, I, I wanna just stand here and watch this. This is so much fun to watch and then of course i got to actually play the game so after more than a couple matches here are my thoughts on the actual game it's a blast again i didn't really know what to expect because i didn't really have any previous experience with it but the game felt smooth the combos felt awesome the stage transitions were so cool even the supers were awesome to pull off it took me just a minute to get used to the actual combo system you know with the opponent bouncing off the ground and realizing oh i can continue the combo from here and then also like side swiping somebody they'd come at me this way and i'd side swipe and then punch them this way on the side that was really cool because i'm not really used to that now keep in mind this is more of a pre-alpha beta build we gotta play but even then the game felt ready and i know they have a lot more to work on obviously i'm just saying the game just felt that good i was like whoa why is this game not even out yet this this feels this feels ready this feels good all the characters that i played felt completely different they played completely different and that's a good thing because sometimes in fighting games i feel like most of the roster or some of the roster can play pretty similarly well tekken 8 is like nope every character is way different obviously you have punches and kicks sure but the way the character works is way different and i like that because that means okay i can really dedicate this time my time to this character and then when i master them i can i'm excited to dedicate even you know more on this time to this new character and i love that i think Tekken 8 is going to be great for beginners and new players however i think it'll really appeal to the longtime fans Fans, the vets because that's just how Tekken is Tekken is you know pretty complex when you really dig deep into it Tekken 8 on the surface you can do a lot of fun things even as a new player that might not know what they're doing you can do a lot of fun things but after hours or days in training and playing the game you're gonna start to understand and see a lot of different things you're like whoa I didn't even know why I could do this I didn't even know this was part of the game and I'll be honest that's where it starts to get really fun now you might be asking one step okay that's great I love hearing all the good things but what about the bad things for Tekken 8 I'm not gonna lie to you I was really looking for all the bad things when playing the game and it's hard to see the bad in a game that you're not really experienced in so I don't really have anything like compare it to I'm not I'm, I can't say like oh Tekken 6 had this why does Tekken 8 not have that so again completely unbiased first impressions I couldn't really find anything bad i mean the game felt great it was so much fun to just play so if you're asking me like yo one step does it have what tekken 4 had i have no idea which is good because i suggest you view this game as a whole new game because honestly if you wanted it to be like tekken 6 just go play tekken 6 you know what i'm saying so as a new game of one of the most popular fighting games ever i think it's gonna be amazing i think it's gonna break records just like street fighter 6 did i think it's gonna be great for newcomers and vets alike i'll tell you man if i want to break it down into simple sentence i'll tell you it was fun visually appealing but Mechanically easy on the surface, but pretty complex if you wanted to dig deep into it. And overall, just a great time. Short, simple, sweet, to the point. Those are my thoughts, guys. Let me know down below what are your thoughts on Tekken 8 if you played it or if you've seen gameplay for it. Are you excited? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Let me know your thoughts down below. Subscribe here for more fighting game content and take it one step at a time.